Well, you can see on the screen that Ukraine came to the United States. Flashes straight off as soon as I start to say something. <laughs> well, Ukraine came to the United States and USA took out Poland in the semi-finals. It was, in fact, an incomplete round of 32 that we started the tournament in yesterday. We were down to eight teams by, by the time we got here today. USA beat China and then Ukraine. Sorry, USA. Ukraine even beat Germany. Italy, then the USA. And uh, Russia. Number three seeds for the tournament beat Azerbaijan, Korea, and then Poland. Well, our running order for tonight, it will be Yana Agorian up first for Russia, followed by Sofia Velikaya and uh, Ekaterina Dyachenko. Uh, sorry to cut you off, David, but it's got to be said. Fasten your seatbelts. It's Sabre time. Thank you. And Olga Karlan to open for Ukraine, followed by Kravatska and Kamasha. Expect fireworks. Lovely start from Yana Gorin. Me. As always, we have to wait until we get to legs seven, eight, and nine. But I think that the Ukrainians really do have to start well because they could be a long way behind if they don't by the time we get to the seventh. There's Carlan's first point. Clash of guards there, and Olga Carlin shaking her hand out a bit. That's the slightest of hesitations there from Yano Gorin. Olga Carlin's all over her. Prepares that attack well, smashes her opponent's blade out of the way, establishing the right of way, and then lands the attack. No, no separation there. First one is no from Jana Igorin. And uh, Olga Karlan strikes. Goren calls for a video referral, but if you just watch um, at the start of each hit, Olga Karlan does a half step and then pauses, and then she decides what to do. It's quite, it's quite brave. Let's see if she does it again. From that distance, she can see what's coming at her if she just does a half step. See? Mm -hmm. uh, unable to get the distance right there. <laughs> no, no separation there from Basil Malentiv. Blocks the first one with a parry, then skips away from the second one using a feet. And Olga Karlan takes the first leg. We move on to the second, Sofia Belikaya. Individual world champion will face Alina Kravatska.
separation there. This is going to make Volokaya think about her attack. But the Kravatska slightly taller, putting the line out. I think you could almost predict that she was going to step in the second that Velikaya made her move. No, no separation there. <laughs> that attack Velikaya, her first point. This is great stuff from Kravatska. I seem to remember the last time these two met. Kravatska was, uh, was the highest scoring of the Ukrainian fences, or highest scoring. She had the best indicators at the end of the match. Well, the last time they met and we saw them. It was a dramatic end for that match when Ekaterina Diachenko was closing for Russia, was badly injured and had to be replaced and Ukraine went on to win. up the blade there and it gets her fourth oh. it was looking for the blade there can't find it yeah eyes closed o option chosen then she decided she was going to look for the power of pass but she does in fact finish it off with an attack and this is a cracking start from the ukrainians it's just what they needed Five there for Kravatska, four for Belikaya. And we roll into the third. It will be a Katerina Diachenko on for Russia. Alina Kamashuk for Ukraine. Papa Torre of Senegal, uh, referee in this third leg. Yeah. 
Dodchenko just wants to go and check that uh, everything's working. It is. Oh, nice. Both evaded each other's attacks using distance, using their feet. And then as Dodchenko approaches for a second go, Kalashchuk dives straight in there. confident outing there from Elena Kamashuk and Ukraine has come out with a plan and it is working only three for Dyachenko we go to the fourth Yana Agorian back on for Russia Olina Kravatska for Ukraine just uh, some breaking news David um, today a uh, collaboration agreement um, was signed between the FIA, the International Fencing Federation, and IWAS, the International Wheelchair and Amputee Sport Federation. Uh, and this collaboration is going to mean uh, cooperation in terms of training camps, competitions, demonstrations, uh, organization of training and the development of fences, coach education and referee education. So it's big news today announced by the International Fencing Federation. That's excellent. No separation there. Assistant white light coming up off of Yana Agorian, and the wireless mechanic has come out. Been fairly um, free of technical difficulty difficulties at this championship, haven't we? We have been. I wish you hadn't have said that. <laughs> yeah. Attack Egorian. Kavatska <laughs> skips out of the way of Egorian's attack and then lands her own. Good use of uh, distance there from the Ukrainian. First one misses from Kavatska this time. First attack, Agorian, no. And she immediately calls for a video review. Yeah, three in a row, look at Olga Carlin cheering that one on. Um, three in a row, both, uh, well, two go to uh, Kravatsko, one to Agorian as things stand, unless the referee changes this decision. But three identical hits. And the call stands. Okay. 
Both just demonstrating amazing footwork control and distance control. Yeah, so that's good. Not quite fast enough there. Good move there from Yana Agorian. No separation. And immediately, Yana Agorian says, let's have a look at that, but he, I don't believe she has a review left. She doesn't, and uh, that will take us out of the fourth. And it will be Diachenko up for Russia, Olga Karlan for Ukraine. Uh, that was the first fight that the Russians weren't outscored in. But no net gain. This is an extremely big fight now. Diachenko, Karlan. Karlan, steely. Absolutely focused on the job in hand. Oh, lovely. Beautiful freeze to fur, flick onto the top of the hand. She's pleased with that one. Look at this, picks up the blade and then flicks her opponent over the top of the hand as she's rushing onto her. Tempted power across fails from Carlan. Duchenko scores. Preparation, Diachenko. And she is looking to the box. There will not be a challenge. Frustrating for Katerina Diachenko. Harry. Repost Diachenko. Separation there. Oh. Well, and can't finish the parry there, and Diachenko gets her fourth point. To block, but Darchenko's wise to it. She goes round it. Justin Bauer there, looking pretty pleased with that one. Uh, 
First one stops from Dechenko. She, I don't think she's going to try and challenge this. <laughs> uh, Vasil Malenshev uh, asks her to put her mask back on, go back to the line, and then ask for the video if she wants it. We've been quite strict about that here, actually, to be yes. fair. They've, they've wanted to get, have the athletes keep their masks on uh, when they ask well, They've made them referral. put them back on yeah. to ask. Yeah. Uh, and I don't think uh, Vasil Malenshev is going to come back with anything other than saying that it's Olga Karlan's hit. And indeed, he does. But again, the Russians have arrested the... the um, the, the increase in score, or the increase in the deficit. So they've, they've uh, sort of leveled things off, both scoring five apiece, Sigorin and Diachenko against Kravatska and Karlan. But importantly, as we go into the sixth, no net gain for Russia. And they've got to find a way to outscore Ukraine. And Ukraine does not seem to be the least bit interested in allowing Russia to get any closer. It is Kamashuk on for Ukraine and Sofia Velikaya for Russia. Let's see what Sofia Velikaya can do then. Like you say, they've got to try and close this gap up before going into the final three legs, and that is not a good start. Stepping off the back of the piece, stepping off the back of the table, is a free hit to Ukraine. attack, says Vashel Malenchev. Halfway through that attack. Malakaya is closing the gap. And another one. Malakaya has found the chink in the armor. The crack in the wall here. given there. Mm -hmm. The is having a look at this though. been given to Sofia Velikaya and the Russians are on level terms for the first time since the first match the oh, first yeah. leg. They are now in the lead. Attempted power repost from Kamashuk fails. Velikaya is one away from establishing a lead for the first time in the match at the end of a leg. And there she has 
done it. 30 plays 27 as we go into the crucial final three legs. Only two for Kamashuk in that outing. Nine for Sofia Belakaya. We go to the seventh, and this is where it all happens. Ekaterina Dyachenko on for Russia. Elena Krabatska for Ukraine. And it is the reserve, Gavrilova, in for Dyachenko. Yulia Gavrilova. Dyachenko was on a minus two indicator after her first two fights. For me, Ukraine are just about close enough to still make this a fight in the final three, but they have to stay this close, going all the way to the uh, final anchor leg for Olga Karlan to have a chance against Sofia Velikaya. Well, Kravatska on a plus one indicator in her first two outings. And she has shown herself to be up to the task. tough to recover from um, a seventh leg if Kravatska doesn't score a couple of hits. They were already three down going into this. Yep, first attack, no. Kravatska gets her first in this seventh leg. times here in this gold medal match. And Harry Riposte, Gabrielova. No separation. Uh, finally, we're seeing something from Kravatska on the offensive. Oh, where did 
that light come up? Where did that light come up? She was nowhere near her. No. She was nowhere near her. They can't, surely they can't give that hit. We're going to have a video review. I, I... Does she clip under the wrist? No. No. And the her lights blade, her, 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 her weapon was pointed straight up at the ceiling. They can't possibly award this hit. Referee comes back. And Papatura explaining there is no hit to be given. And Gavrilova obviously graciously accepts that and uh, Papatura thanks her for that because Technically, she could claim. So, well, light came on, but I mean, that was just so clear. Gavrilova, two for Kravatska, and the hole is getting deeper for Ukraine. Well, Gavrilova has come on as a substitute and done her job. Absolutely fantastic. And I hate to say it, but uh, Kamashchuk has got to score more than five hits in this, uh, in this penultimate leg to give uh, anchor Olga Karlan any chance against Sofia Velikaya. And Yana Agorian on for Russia. And Alina Kamashuk. No mistakes from Kamashuk, or it will be silver tonight. I'm put my neck on the line here and say that she's got to score at least seven, perhaps even eight hits to give uh, Olga Karlan a chance. bit slow and a little bit wild there. Kamashuk taking advantage. Agorian is pumped up. Separation there. Just a warning to all our viewers. If the comments thread continues to spin out of control, we're going to stop removing posts and turn the comments thread off. Uh, big call here from Kamashchuk. Going to the uh, video. Operatory comes back. Sticks with his decision. Gorian is two away from handing her anchor, Sofia Velakaya, a nice, healthy lead. All right, no net 
loss at this stage for Ukraine, but there needs to be, as you said, Karim, a net gain here. Well, she needs one more for a no net loss, I think. He started on 29. Well, at this stage. Oh, I see. Your maths is better than mine. Nothing given there. Final action is blocked out by Komaschuk and Christian signals to Jana Agorian, Christian Bauer, the Russian coach, signals to Jana Agorian to call for a video. Well, Papa Torres call Perry, counter Perry, and he's straight back. Perry, counter Perry, point Kamashuk. No separation. Preparation. To some extent, for me, it's Yana Agorian that's got to uh, change things. You can't just keep everything in the middle. Got to try and open things up a little bit, change the distance, change the tempo to try and fashion this last hit. Preparation again from Agorian. One more from Tomaszczuk, and we are going to have one heck of a final bout. Well, time for some hair maintenance for Yana Agorian. And she's getting a good talking to from Christian Bauer. Big, big, big outing here from Alina Kamashuk. She's doing her job. Massively, massively pumped up. The Ukrainian. Skips out of the way of the attack from Igorian, and Kamashuk is going to hand over something that I believe Olga Karlan can handle. Attack Agorian. Well, Kamaschuk has called for a video, but she's already uh, exchanged pleasantries with uh, Yana Gorian, because she looked up to the big screen and saw the replay herself. She's staying on the piste. Referee is asking... Uh, there but, has been a video review. Yeah, the referee is asking uh, Gorian to come back. She said, well, we shook hands. But he said, no, you will shake hands when I tell you to shake hands. Well, a 9-5 run for Alina Kamashuk. And just when it looked like the wheels had come off, Ukraine is back. We go now to the ninth and final leg. Sofia Velikaya, 2015 individual world champion, is going to face off with Olga Karlan. We couldn't ask for better than this. Well, we've seen we've seen Karlan come back from deeper holes than this one. Much. I, 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 I've got to say. Favoring, favoring the Ukrainians to take this now. Well, Sofia Velikai will have something to say about that. Is she going to use a video on the first hit? And she, she will. Is. She is. She's had a look at it on the big screen and she's saying, that's mine. Please, Mr. Milenchev, will you go and review your decision? 
We could do with the replay ourselves. Here it comes. Hmm. Inconclusive from that angle. I think that Valakaya is going to get this one. Same decision, hit stands, and that could be crucial. The Russians will be happy with that because Velikaya has her video referral left. Karlan does not. And a yellow card's been shown to the Ukrainian box. She's off the... She's, sorry, she's not off the back line. She's right on the back line. Velikaya. She leans back a couple of times. And Karlan is looking at the video. Well, you can see her foot is just, just on the line. And there are four judges right there. Sophia Velikaya on her way to a double gold. Sophia Villacaya has made the right decision. It's all swung back towards the Russians in this final leg. Karlan's still determined to go for it and make this a fight. And she gets one back. But she now can't make any mistakes. fails. Carlin falls off the side and where is he going to reset her? Fortunately still inside the bounds of the beast. Massive distance between them. Huge distance between them. Indeed, I would have thought he would have brought them closer. They've seen Olga Karlan do this before. Is there a prep in the middle of that for Valakaya? Does Karlan's blade go into the guard? No. It is a preparation from Valakaya. Valakaya is not happy about that and she calls for a video. Now she calls for a video, officially. Hmm. <laughs> Does... Two points is not a big margin. Just looking at the replay there, David, just, just uh, look at her face. She's saying, you can't possibly not give that to me. And uh, Marcel Malenchev is coming back. Either the attack goes through, no hit. He said part of Tush then, didn't he? Well, they've taken a point off of Velikaya, now they take it off Carlan. Yeah. No, no hit given. And Carlan evades that attack from Velikaya. Velikaya does the same back to Carlan. It's the Russian on the march, and it's her attack, and Carlan knows that. And Russia take the gold medal in the women's team saber at the 2015 Fencing World Championships in Moscow. It is double gold for Sofia Velikaya, and tonight is Russia's night. Silver 
for Ukraine. And Russia continues to dominate the medal table here at the 2015 World Fencing Championships. And a big, happy hometown crowd. And they take a bow. <laughs> Olga Carlin almost did it again, but it wasn't to be tonight. A great, great eighth leg for Alina Kamashuk. Put Ukraine back in it. But that is the women's saber individual world champion right there. And she knows she's got two gold medals here. What a fantastic gold medal match. We've got another one coming up.